Josh Frydenberg. Thank you for your time this morning, Treasurer. Good morning. Nice to be with you. Um, just before we get into the detail of the stimulus package, I mean, as we've seen, things have really escalated in the last mm. 24 hours. Mm. You've been calling for calm, but it's getting more difficult, isn't it? Well, of course, uh, people are feeling quite uncertain about how the global pandemic will evolve. But what we do know is that Australia is better prepared than any other nation when it comes to both the health side of things as well as in terms of our economy. We're approaching this challenge from a position of economic strength. Yesterday's uh, major uh, and substantial package of measures will support the economy at this difficult time. And we know that there will be an other side of this coronavirus and we want to be stronger and better when that occurs. My, my concern is, um, I mean, are we missing something? Um, here in Australia. When you look at what's what's going on in the United States and in the last 12 hours the United States have, have banned gatherings of more than 500, or at least in New York at the very least. Schools are closing in France. Um, we've got an entire country locked down in Italy. Um, there's travel that's been banned all over the place. Are we, have, we, have we gone far enough yet? Well, we continue to take the best advice of our chief medical officer, not only at the Commonwealth level, but also at the state level. They talk every day. Um, right now, their advice has not been to cancel mass gatherings, but as you know, their advice has been to put in place certain travel restrictions, which we followed very quickly and we moved ahead of the rest of the world. Uh, but we do know that the, the government is doing everything we can to protect the safety of our citizens and the $2.4 billion package of health measures that we mm. announced just a few days ago will boost the stockpile, will support extra hospital funding, will support extra training, uh, as well as uh, set up these re respiratory centres so that people can get their checks as quickly as possible. See, I don't understand why we're not talking about banning mass gatherings when what we're trying to do is stop the human-to-human -human mm. spread. Well, again, you can only go on the best possible um, medical advice, and they consider continue to assess the uh, the situation on a day by day basis. Their advice yesterday was not to ban those gatherings, but of, of course, uh, this this crisis, uh, this health crisis, continues to evolve. Are you putting economic concerns before health? Never. Okay, there's there's a situation. I think, by the way, um, I think the stimulus package announced yesterday is very good. Um, from from my rudimentary understanding of these things, mm -hmm. it looks very um, broad and it looks encompassing. Um, and look, I guess we wait and see what happens in the next few months um, if it, if it doesn't if it doesn't come into effect and have the impact that you want. Um, there's one thing I want to talk to you about. The states have to come to the party at some point, don't they? I mean, we've seen what sort of impact, um, say, for example, reducing um, payroll tax could have. I mean, that, that could have a significant impact, even just for a short while, even though some of the states are doing, it doing having a difficult time, especially Queensland economically. But surely that, they must come to the party, as it were, and make those changes now. Well, Carl, this is a Team Australia moment. This is the time for federal and state governments to come together, for corporates, big and small, to come together, and, of course, for the community to go out and spend at their local store and continue to support economic activity. Uh, this is a time of real challenge, but we will get through this by working together. Uh, the government announced at the federal level, the Morrison government, $17.6 billion. It's really front-loaded, $11 billion of which will go out the door before June 30. There are the cash payments to 6.5 million Australians, people who are on New Start or disability support pensions or a carer's allowance or a veteran's payments or family tax benefits. Uh, and then three out of every four dollars is being spent backing business because business employs people and we're supporting business with <laughs> Uh, with supporting those apprentices. It, it, who are Treasurer, it's hard as well. to go out and spend. You, you're saying let's go out and spend money here. That's the whole desired impact of this. It's hard to go out and spend when we're telling when the next message might be don't gather, <laughs> don't go out and spend time with businesses. I mean, that's a really difficult message to try and work your way through. Well, I think you know most Australians are getting about their, their daily lives as usual, but there is a degree of uncertainty. But Carl, you would expect us and we are taking the best possible medical advice, just like we're taking the best possible economic advice from Treasury officials. This is a time for Australia to come together. The states will do their part. The Commonwealth has done its part, but we continue to monitor this on a day-by-day -day basis. I mean, you're desperately trying to stop a downturn in the second quarter. Will you consider another stimulus package if this one doesn't work? Well, we're getting extra real-time 
information from the banks, from the Australian Bureau of Statistics, to, to, to actually um, understand the, the full impact of these measures we'll be having across the economy. We'll have the budget in just eight weeks' time, and we haven't put any limitations on what we will do then or indeed after yeah. that. Uh, what we will do always is put the interests of Australians first, whether that's their economic interests or whether that's their safety. OK, and just back to payroll. Um can I get your response to that? I mean, should the government, should the state governments come to the party and reduce payroll tax, even for a small period of time, say four months? Well, it's definitely an option for them, and the Queensland government has already moved with some deferral, and, and I'm sure other state governments are looking at that. We would welcome any movements by states uh, to support their local economies uh, with measures that back business like we are, that back households, uh, that give some temporary relief, uh, because obviously this is a challenging time. What difference would it make? It all helps and we want the Australian economy to bounce back stronger than ever and we approach this from a position of strength but we are certainly not complacent and that's why yesterday's announcement was so broad based. It was all the measures were temporary, all the measures were targeted and all the measures were proportionate to the challenge. Treasurer, I mean so much of the focus has been on you on the federal government's response to this. Do you feel that the states aren't doing enough, that they do need to step up? I've actually had good conversations with my state counterparts. Mm. I know they take this issue seriously but I'm sure Lots of people are waiting to see what their next move is. OK. Treasurer, really good to talk to you. Um, have yourself a good weekend. Will you be going to any sporting events over the weekend? Uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, or uh, well, next week, uh, I'm looking forward to going to the Carlton Richmond game. OK. I mean, we're still worried about our kids. I mean, even our kids going to sporting games over the mm. weekend. I mean, they're, they're big concerns for families. Well, Carl, we've got to take the best possible medical advice, and right now they say go along to those events, and, and as long as they're saying it, I'll do it. OK. Good on you, Josh. Thank you. Thank you. Breaking news.